Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about this month's birch box. So here it is. Um, I actually just received it yesterday after a very long time waiting, I guess you could say. Um, I know they changed a little bit of the way that they were shipping them this month. I don't know if that's something they're going to continue with, but um, so I feel like I was one of the last people in the country to receive theirs because I remember seeing everybody else was posting their videos of their birch box already and I was like, where is mine? Um, but anyway, so here it is. Um, quickly before I go into that one, I'm just going to discuss a few things about last month's birch box. So here's the card from last month's birch box. I'm just going to go in the order that they're listed. Um, so the first thing was the Ahava Revival bath salts. I actually didn't get a chance to use them. If you don't remember what they look like, it was this right here. I was actually really excited to get these just because I love taking baths, but unfortunately I didn't get to use these because my bath and my house is really small. It's not really a, the type of bath that you would take a bath in. It's more of a shower because um, it's so shallow, so I wouldn't really have enjoyed taking a bath in it. So I just, and it also came with a little extra treat that came with this was the um, enriched or enriched intensive foot cream. I got two of those. So I'm just I'm just saving these until next time I go to a hotel or um, I stay at somebody's house that has a good sized bathtub so that I can actually enjoy this product. I didn't want to I really wanted to just take a bath so I can try it but I didn't want to try to fit myself into a tiny tub. <laughs> Second thing was the Cargo Lash Activator Mascara which was this right here. Um, this I didn't like it at all <laughs> to be honest. Um, I liked it the first and maybe second time I used it, but after that, I didn't like it at all. I don't know if it, if it just got um, too clumpy after the first or second use, but um, I tried to use it a couple times after that, and I just didn't like it. It just got too clumpy, and no one likes clumpy lashes, so i just not a fan of it at all, so um, yeah, not liking it. <laughs> the third item was the Marvis Classic Mint Toothpaste. That I actually don't even have to show you because I used it all. Um, I actually really liked it. I loved the taste of it. The whole point of that um, toothpaste was, besides that it was imported from Italy, um, was that the taste was the crisp mint flavor lingers all day to keep your, to keep your breath sweet. I really did like the flavor of it, um, it was just something I've never tried before, but honestly it's not something that I would ever purchase myself because on the card here it says the full size is $10.50, which is a lot for a toothpaste. And the only special thing that really says about the toothpaste is the flavor of it. It doesn't say that it helps clean your teeth better than an average toothpaste. It doesn't say um, that it brightens your teeth or whitens them, anything like that. It's just flavored. So um, it's not something that I would go out and spend $10.50 on a toothpaste just because of the flavor. I'd rather go and spend 4 or $5 on a toothpaste that is meant to help whiten my teeth or help clean my teeth better than, you know, a good flavoring toothpaste. And the so. fourth item was the Pangea Organics Lip Balm, which I have right here. Um, I actually really like this. I am wearing it right now underneath the lip gloss that I'm wearing. I keep this on my vanity because it's such a large lip balm. Um, it's not exactly something I'd want to keep in my pocket because it would stick out a lot more than an average lip balm. But I keep it on my vanity so whenever I do my makeup before I apply any lip products, I apply this just before my lip products. So I, I do really love it a lot. I like the sense of it. Um, the fact that it has like the grapefruit orange scent, it just it smells just smells really nice. So yeah, I love to use this before applying um, any other lip products or anything. And the last item, which was just the Birch Box Treat, and it was the brow brush, which is this right here. It was basically just a spoolie. Um, nothing special, just your average spoolie. Um, because I already have one, I have this one right here. Um, I use this one more for combing through my brows once I fill them in. So since I use that for that purpose, um, this little tiny one, what I've been using is if my mascara clumps too much, such as when I use the Cargo Mascara, um, I would use this to kind of separate the lashes to kind of declump them. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's nothing really special. It's just a spoolie. <laughs> but it was just nice to have an extra one, so I had one for my brows, one for my eyelashes. So that's it for last month's Birch Box, and let's go ahead and jump into this month's. So as you can probably see, or if you've ever seen any Birch Box videos before this, um, you might notice a difference in the box. They normally come in a pink box, but because um, this month is, uh, or Earth Day is the, in this month, um, I think that is why the box is green this time. So I'm going to go ahead and, in case you haven't seen my previous video or any other Birch Box videos, this is the box that it comes in. It's a really nice cardboard box, really sturdy. It's Something that's too flimsy. You can see it's a really nice box. I don't know if that helps. So here is how it's packaged, and you unravel the hit myself in the face. You unravel the tissue paper and it has the card on top. So here's the card, and I can already tell immediately that this card is different than last month's. Last month's card had this glossy finish, and this feels more like a matte finish. I worked at a at a paper company for almost three years, so I can tell the difference. Um, but it feels more like either recycled paper or 
um, matte texture. I read the card yet, but I bet it says something about the paper that it's printed on because of the whole Earth Day thing. So yeah, let's go ahead and read that. So the card says, this month in honor of Earth Day, we've partnered with our friends at Eco Fabulous and greened our box inside and out. It's not just a single day though. April is a reminder that we should be mindful of the environment year round. Here's how we're celebrating. And there's three little paragraphs. I'll read to you real quick. It says, waste less, love more. Uh, Birchbox helps you discover beauty products you love. No more beauty graveyard of unused products, which I have a lot of. <laughs> uh, this month, meet earth-friendly products from skincare to nail polish. These treats show that eco can be effective and chic. Then it says, recycle and reuse. Every bit of Birchbox packaging from the tissue to this letter is recyclable. I knew it. I knew this was recycled paper. Uh, this month and every month. So I guess from now on, they're going to be doing all recyclable stuff. Many members also repurpose birch boxes to store jewelry, makeup, and other tidbits. We'd love to hear how you reuse your boxes. Oh, I should totally do that. Um, okay, so the third part says, healthy body, healthy planet. Online, we have tons of articles and videos to inspire you, inspire you to be more mindful about what to buy and how to use it. Check out what products Zem Jacquin, Jacquin, Zem Jacquin. It's the person's name. Sorry if I'm butchering it if you're reading this or hearing this. Um, founder of Eco Fabulous can't live without or learn how to get beachy waves with our video tutorial plus an easy guide to reading product labels and much more. Then the very bottom says PS you're holding a carbon neutral birch box. We offset the emissions of shipping this box and will continue to do so going forward. I'm just going to go down in the order of what's on the card. The first one says Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel. So let's find that. So that's this right here. Um, so it says Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel. This organic peel doesn't mess around. Natural fruit acids dissolve even the most tenacious dead cells for an immediately for an immediately brighter, smoother complexion. Cool. Then right below that it says Extra Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Repair Moisture. So here is that item. Let me just read that again. It says uh, Juicy or Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Repair Moisturizer. So I guess you would just use this immediately after the um the apple peel so that should be really cool next is live green perfume which is this right here it's just a little perfume sample and it says made from biodegradable and sustainable ingredients the lush scent is laced with jasmine and sandalwood plus 10 percent of sales go, go directly to global green well that's cool i'm gonna go ahead and smell this since i have it here Ooh, that smells really good so I'm going to try that a lot throughout. Maybe I'll just keep that in my purse so I can continue to try that out. Next is Lavanilla. This is Lavanilla the Healthy Body Butter. Made from all natural shea and cocoa butters, this satiny cream is lighter than your usual butters. Perfect for warm spring weather. This is a huge container. So that's this right here. I'm so excited because uh, Vanilla Lavender is my favorite scent. I have a... I have a candle of that scent <laughs> right next to my vanity. That's absolutely my favorite scent. And on top of the bottle it says all natural ingredients, 100% healthy, no harsh chemicals. I'm so excited to use this, especially because of this scent. Yay! Next is Zoya Nail Polish in Jewels. So, oh, that's really pretty. So here's the color. It's kind of like a champagne taupe color. I don't even have any nail polish on right now, so I'm going to be, I'll probably use this as my next shade. This is really pretty. Um, this is a, this is a sample size because I have a Zoya nail polish already and it is a little bit bigger than this. So that is a sample size. Um, it says green is glam, especially when it comes to Zoya's super glossy lacquers. This versatile metallic hue is your new spring go-to color. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try this when I paint my nails. Next. This is so pretty. So there's that. And it also came with this little booklet from Zoya. So, and oh, I didn't even see that part. It has these little, oh, it opens up. So it has these little swatches in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I can pull it out. Gosh, I'm all over the place. So you can pull it out. And I guess this is their um, Intimate collection. I guess the collection's called Intimate. So here are the colors that are in that collection. And this is the color that I got, which is Jewels. On the other side, there's this little booklet. And it says, The New Color of Fashion. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm like so excited. It basically just has swatches of I don't know if these are all their nail polishes yeah these are all their polishes so you can check out all the polishes that Zoya has I already have one polish I have a like a matte black but yeah look at all these colors that you can get that's so cool I'm definitely gonna have to check this out look into it some more last item oh okay so it says extra bloomin seed paper 
Even better than recyclable, plant this homemade paper in soil, give it a little water, and watch it sprout into wildflowers. So it's just a paper. How cool is that? So on the front it says, plant me, I turn into wildflowers. That's so cool. So I guess these little things have, um, has a seeds in it already. So I live in an apartment, so I'm gonna have to go get, I don't have anywhere to put this in, so I'm probably gonna have to go get um, a pot and some soil, because I love flowers. I don't really have any flowers in my house, so I'm definitely excited to use this. So I'll let you know how, I wonder what wildflowers it is. It doesn't say what kind of flower it is exactly. It just says wildflower, and there's more than one kind of wildflower, right? So yeah, I'll definitely um, try to do that before next month's birch box, and I'll let you know what kind of flower I got. All right, so that is it for this month's Birch Box. I'm really excited for this month. Um, last month was great, but this month I find myself using a lot more of the things that I got. So I'm really excited, so yeah. Um, if you guys haven't heard of what Birch Box is already, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below. Um, you click on that link and it'll give you all the information about it. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.